This is my iPhone 15, and ever since I've got it, I've been using the fine woven Mulberry Apple Original case with it, which, no secret, I haven't liked too much. I don't like the way it feels, I don't like the way it looks, nor do I like how much it costs and how it's aging. So overall, just has not been a very impressive case for me, which leads me to this. The Apple Original silicone case, which is the alternative to the fine woven. There is also the clear case, but that's pretty self-explanatory. So I wanted to give this a shot and see how it is. Now I have used silicone cases in the past, but they're always short term. I always lean towards the leather cases for the longer duration of my usage with these phones. So I've kind of never really used uh, silicone long term, which I'm gonna do now. So this is the winter blue silicone case for the iPhone 15 and it looks really nice. It's got a very muted blue color. It's light blue and it doesn't scream anything too loud. It's a very sober and simple color, and I quite like that. I do like more simple and subtle colors, which is why I really love this year's iPhone 15 colors, even though everyone seems to hate them. Uh, I really do like the look of this case, and I, I was really excited to see how it pairs with the pink, because I do think that blue and pink always work really well together. So a look at the case, when you look on the inside, you have this really nice soft felt material, which is the usual norm for the silicone cases, nothing new. Um, you do have the MagSafe rings right here and a little bit of a uh, indication there that they're sitting right there. And then of course you've got iPhone written on here with uh, designed by Apple and a couple other small little details that are very hard to miss on the inside. On the outside, the this side is fully covered. You just have one button right here. And then on this side, you've got the volume up and volume, uh, volume up and volume down, as well as the uh, hole for the alert slider. On the top, nothing, very clean. And then the bottom, of course, speaker, microphone, and the USB charger uh, cutout. On the back, very simple, very neat, no text, no nothing, just the Apple logo, and then a uh, elevated camera bump to allow it a little bit more protection when you have this case on. Uh, otherwise, this case is so simple and almost generic at, at, at a point, but I like that about it. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit of a twist and see how it uh, is when you flex it. So flexing it like this, it's quite rigid. It's not bending easily and it bends right back into shape. Uh, pushing it from the inside, it's very, very stable. It does not uh, flex on the back at all. Let's try from the back outwards. Same thing, not a lot of flex. It locks out pretty quickly and unless you apply significant force, this won't break by hand. The camera ring is elevated and made of a hard plastic material. It's not the same silicone as the uh, back and the sides, not even the buttons. This is a hard plastic that has a smoother uh, finish on it. And overall, the case is very, very simple. The sides are strong, uh, right? The weakest point would be right near these volume up down keys, but even that not too bad. There's just enough flex to comfortably let the phone sit in, but it doesn't really look like it's going to have any other issues. Uh, there is no like little bumps for impact to uh, be absorbed. So that, that is missing here, but and having used Apple, other Apple cases that don't have that impact protection, I've never had any damaged phones while using Apple cases. So I don't think that's much to worry about. So let's go ahead and put the phone in to the case. And let's of course get a nice look at that animation of the color. There we go. That nice, blue looks really good uh, right off the bat. What I can tell you is on the front, you do see a little bit of the phone's color, just a tiny bit, maybe the angle will catch on, but when you see it in person, you do see just a little bit of the metal from the side, so you will be able to get a small peek if you have a lighter colored iPhone. Um, the back looks really good. I'm actually really loving this light pink and light blue combo. I think it works really well with this phone. Uh, this color might not seem like the, the most obvious pairing for a uh, pink colored phone, the blue and pink, but just really work well together, especially since they're both lighter colors. I do like the way this feels in the hand. Very smooth, very soft. Now, silicone does have a problem with catching onto lint and of course discoloring with oils and things over time, which cannot be cleaned. But overall, the strength of them usually remains pretty good throughout your usages. So I'm gonna get to using this, but overall, I think this is a fantastic case. So I would honestly recommend this case very easily. It's great in the hand right now. I really like the way it's feeling. So if you wanna check that out, I'll have it linked down in the description below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions about this, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.